Sam Darnold. Salvageable? Future star? Still a bust? How say you? This is your answer. We're going to etch it into the scrolls and you have to live by it for the rest of time. There's a very strong minority of people that will defend this guy to the hilt and say it's all Adam Gase and the situation and he just had no shot. And as soon as you free him from that environment, you're going to see the real Sam Darnold. You're going to see the guy that makes those splash plays, you know, pretty much every game, just not enough of them. And I think the, the best thing about this is we're probably going to get a good answer to that because in Carolina, you're going to see by far the best situation he's ever been in in the NFL. By far the best weaponry he's had. He's teaming up with one of the great young play-calling coaching minds in the NFL in, in Joe Brady. Okay, the offensive line is not in great shape, but it's still at least on par with what he's had with the Jets for years. So we're going to get a pretty good answer, I think, as to how much of that has been Sam Darnold and how much has been the environment. Um, my hunch says that, look, everybody wants to blame all of this at, on Adam Gase. I think in the hierarchy of problems that have been besetting Sam Darnold since he came into the NFL, Gase is at most the third most impactful one. The, hmm. the Jets roster definitely hasn't been good. That's probably number one. Sam Darnold not being good is probably number two. And then Adam Gase's influence is probably number three. So, yeah, look, I, I'm intrigued by Darnold as a reclamation project. I am a lot less intrigued by him as a guy that's going to have to start next year and be an upgrade over Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater for Carolina. I don't know that there's a huge chance that we see you know, this dramatic leap forward in Darnold's production. Did Joe Douglas do right here? Do you feel like yeah. this was a successful move, bottom line, for the Jets going forward? Yeah, absolutely. I think if you were going to be moving on from Sam Darnold, um, flipping him for as much as you can get back in a trade, I think is absolutely the right move.